What's up, guys? Jaxel here. Uh, last week, I released the first version of my scoreboard assistant, version 100. Um, since then, I've released three more versions. We're now up to 103. I'm playing this video together to show the changes and why I did certain things. Uh, firstly, this is a basic uh, text uh, field tab. You notice I changed a few of the icons. They're a bit nicer. But the text field tab... Um, it used to have six text fields. I've reduced it down to four, and that's simple because if you look at this fourth one, text four, it actually scrolls past the area. And if you had six spots, then it would pretty much scroll in every single field. So having only four uh, reduces the chances of your text will be too long and start scrolling. If you need more text, you can simply add another text field panel. Um, and we're going to do that right now. I'm going to call it one. Now, normally, when you have typed that, it would have automatically populated the uh, ID DB uh, field with the one, but I made it so that your database cannot start with a number. Had to do this for specific programming reasons. So we're going to call it one instead. Uh, you know, you can't have special characters in that field either. So it will automatically uh, format your text in uh, a valid field. And so now we have a second text information tab. And now we can drag and drop. So let's swap. This is not an insert, so I'm not going to insert it between these two tabs. It's going to swap the location of where I release. I'm going to swap that. And now scoreboard and one's location got swapped. Now you can swap as much as you want. But you know it's, it's a very rudimentary drag and drop feature. And I don't think I'm going to expand. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Because it works, and I don't need the program getting even more bloated. Actually, it's not really bloated. I don't want the program to get bloated. That's what I mean to say. All right, something I forgot to mention. Um, in the first video, I said that if you wanted to have two tabs with the same uh, name and database call, ID call, I said you could, but it would be quirky. Uh, well, some of the new features I added, th these quirks get in the way of those features. So I actually made it so you cannot have two tabs with the same database call. They can have the same name, but not the same database. So if I click that, it'll say a tab with this name already exists because one already uses that database. It's simple. It just doesn't let you make this mistake that could potentially crash the program. Error checking. All right, another small change I added has to do with the scoreboard screens. Uh, we have the uh, copy button and the reset scores button. Previously, those were hidden behind the context menu or the save button. And I didn't like that because I use these two functions very often, and the extra click was just pissing me off. So I gave them their own buttons. And, uh, you know, single click does exactly what you expect it to do. And you know, I just like it better that way. If you've only used the first version of the program, you'll see some new tabs, Twitter, Twitch, and Hitbox. Full API support for these uh, external services has been added, and you can add those tabs through the external services menu. Uh, I'm going to show you how Twitch works. I'm sorry, Twitter works. We click login. A Internet Explorer window will pop up asking you to log in. And once you're logged in, it'll ask you if you wish to authorize the app. The app will have access to your direct messages and see your Twitter password. I'm sorry, we'll not be able to do that. What it will be able to do is read tweets. Uh, I don't know. All I really want to do is post tweets, but these three permissions are included with this permission. So, you know, all it's going to do is post your tweets. Click authorize. There we go. And now I can type stuff and post it directly to my Twitter account. Now, you'll also notice the uh, text, uh, these uh, buttons here. We're going to click the text one. And the text one will automatically search the existing uh, text field tabs in Scoreboard Assistant, list them, and allow you to quickly copy the information in those tabs. So now I have a very populated tweet, and I didn't have to type anything. Now, uh, Twitch and uh, Hitbox are also there. Let's uh, remove the Hitbox tab. And if you click the Hitbox, it'll say, no tabs found because there's no Hitbox tab. So we can't use these until we log in. So we're going to log into Twitch. And just like with Twitter, it's going to 
ask for permission. There we go. And, you know, title of the stream, the game we're currently playing. And just like with the Twitter one, there's a text thing. Whoops. Okay, I just tried to run an ad. I clicked that button by accident. And it said, unable to do it. Unable to do it because we're offline. If you're offline, you can't run an ad. And this is the error that uh, that Twitter returns for some reason. I mean, Twitch. It's not a very understanding error. Maybe they'll fix that in the future. All right. Uh, there's also the text button. And the same way, I can copy information directly into the status of the stream. It shows the number of followers, the number of viewers currently watching, and the peak number of viewers for this session. This peak resets every time you close the program. Um, now, as we said, we're offline. If I was online, the number of viewers would then be appended to the tab right here. So you could be on another tab, and you will still see the number of viewers. That's a new in the most current version. And the information is updated every 30 seconds automatically. So now we go back to the Twitter tab. We're going to click Twitch button. And it copies the status of the stream directly to the outgoing tweet. Simple. Uh, now we also have Hitbox support. Hitbox is a little bit different than Twitter and Twitch. Hitbox does not use Open Auth. So their uh, login system, you're not getting an access token or an access key. You're actually using your username and password. Uh, I don't honestly like this. I think it's a bit insecure. The idea of sending your username and password over the internet every time you want to do f a function on Hitbox, I don't like that. But it's how they do it. Uh, don't worry, the program scoreboard assistant does not store your password. It only stores it in a temporary memory. So when you close the program, your password will not be there. You'll have to type it in every time you start up the program. Click login. And it looks pretty much the same as Twitch, except the run ad button is grayed out because Hitbox's API currently does not support the ability to run ads through third-party programs. Hopefully, we'll get that fixed in the future. I mean, hopefully, they'll add that in the future. They're uh, Hitbox a pretty active company, constantly adding new features. So I don't expect it to take very long. I wouldn't be surprised if they rewrite their entire API soon. All right, so that's pretty much it. Oh, you know what? Something I did forget to mention? Combo boxes. Combo boxes are anything with, that have the down arrow that lets you select multiple text. They are now alphabetically sorted. So as you add players, uh, there's one player. Click Save. There's another player. You'll notice it's in alphabetical order. So it'll be a bit easier to find uh, players in their lists as you uh, add them to your databases. Uh, beyond that, that's pretty much uh, everything that's new in this new version. You got any feature requests, you know, just ask, and I will look into it. Peace out, guys. Thanks for your interest in the program. And uh, if you purchased it, uh, uh, if you purchased it for more than a penny, because remember, this program is available for sale at a choose-your-own price model, which means you can buy it for a penny, you can buy it for a 100 bucks. You know, it's all on how much you care about uh, you know how how much this uh, program helps you how much you appreciate the work i've put into it so if you bought it for more than a penny uh thank you peace out have a good night